what, guys? We got some exclusive fucking shit for your fucking news feed. Well, it's exclusive from someone else. So, but we're bringing it we to you. We get the scoop. So we're exclusive. We're exclusive. God damn! Nick Castle, the original guy that played Michael Myers in the first Michael. fucking movie, Michael Myers, is coming back. For the remake, he's going to be Michael fucking Myers. You shut your fucking mouth. Remake. It's Michael. not a remake, Jay. You stupid bitch. Whatever. We'll, we'll call it what we want to call it. Damn. A, a return, a revision, whatever you want to fucking you need to say. You those numbers up. Those are rookie numbers. Yeah. That's some rookie shit right there. <laughs> Anyhow, that's fucking. I feel like uh, Darth Vader at the end of Rogue One when I'm fucking slicing fucking rebel ass. Yeah, guys, we just got done Scary. filming all of our shit today. Like, just wrapped up, put the lights away, put all the shit away, said our goodbyes, went our separate ways. I'm gonna eat alone. You eat by yourself. I'm gonna shut the engines down. Waffles. And uh, my phone goes. But it. The and then I was like, what? <laughs> so but, 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 I get my phone out, news. and it's like uh, bloody disgusting. You got, got the, mail. Got the ex exclusive <laughs> scoop. That fucking, um, yeah, Nick Castle's come back. That's he, great. He's the original. And Nick Castle's not just some guy who played Michael Myers. Like, he directed The Last Starfighter. He directed Dennis the Menace. Last Starfighter. I don't know about man. that little guy right well, there. Well, Dennis the Menace is a good. Last Starfighter is amazing. I like The Last Starfighter. He's a super talented guy. And the last I heard about him was when he revealed the current state of uh, the original mask that he yeah. wore in the, in the original. And that's not coming back because that's that looks like fucking dog, uh, dog shoot. It looks like dog it's, food. It's, it's, a, it's, it's sad that they can't get the original mask anymore because they were fucking stupid and Deborah Hill left it under her bed in a shoebox where she smoked all the time. That motherfucker got all stretched out and looks like a he was going through a stroke. That's why I don't go bungee jumping in Mexico. We don't do that anymore. They just don't have but the fact that they're bringing back a classic like Nick Castle to give this movie that umph, that um factor. Not I am so fucking excited to object to the tips! Richard Simmons! Oh I, I believe in your videotapes! Slit my tongue. Anyways, um yeah, not not only that dude, but the dude who did the fucking uh stunt work for the movie is coming back as well. We can't get, can we get any cooler? Can we find a way <laughs> to get any cooler? I don't think so, Jamie Lee. James Jude Courtney is the guy who who helped Nick Castle play Michael Myers, did the stunts. They're bringing him back as well, and it can get fucking cooler because that's not all. What is more? Bang, bang, bang the drum. What is more? That's not all. What else? Also, Christopher Nelson, the VFX artist who did fucking Suicide Squad, Deadpool, Sin City, Kill Bill 1 and 2, they hired him too. I want to take a moment to reflect. It's this real, Jim. Just take like a moment to reflect. The pizza. Uh, Nick Castle in the original Michael Myers movie, a Halloween one, was fucking great. Like he was amazing. The way he moved, and I can see what John Carpenter said. I think uh, I watched an interview with John Carpenter said the way he moved it was like liquid. You know, he he just moved real sly and smoothly around, and that's what he was going for with shape. He might be older, but fuck it, Michael is old. That's what I wanted to talk about. What does this mean? You might just say nothing. It's just a cool thing that they did. The guy played him the best. They brought him back, but. They better well, not show his fucking face. Think about it, though. They better not do it. Think about they it. They better not do it. Well, they do show his face for a second. A couple in times. The original. Yeah, but with that, with the. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is a soap? No, no. He took his mask off. He's like, I like stickers. He does. If you look at that shot in the original Halloween when he takes his mask off, he's like, <laughs> payday. <laughs> <laughs> but they do show his, his eyeball for a second. But no, that, it, but he shows his whole face. Well, yeah, but I mean, you see mostly the, the one eyeball. But what I'm saying is, is that okay? Jamie Lee Curtis, 40 years later, finished the job. You know, comes back. Michael's gonna age. Just think about an aging, a little bit tired. I don't it's want like that. The, it's like the Dark Knight Rises. No, I don't want that. <laughs> He's gotta get. A, I don't want that shit in my chariot. He's gotta get a knee brace. No, you know? no, I think. I don't know. It, maybe it could be. And the only way the only way you can show him aging is if you did bring back Nick Castle in the, what they said they're gonna do, and then show his face yeah. because he's old now. Fuck that! It's head to toe. Maybe not no, show his face, I, but I, just have him be the age he is. Maybe they maybe they I, mention I just, they mention his age, and you see him like when he falls down, take a second to, to get into stalker mode. I've again. fallen and I can't fuck, get up. It's not like he runs anyways. Life alert! But you know, I, life alert! But I think it's legit as fuck to actually go as far as to get somebody who who literally is Michael Myers' age. If this were to happen, here's today. where I'm going with it though. I don't I don't think they're gonna show his age. I think that the fact that they're just doing a nod to the original by bringing back the original guy that played Michael Myers. You know, I don't want them to show his age. I, I just kind of hope it's more of a along the lines of them just being like, hey, you know what? Um, we're bringing back the original cast. 
as much as we can get on. I don't think they're going to show his face, but I do think they're going to mention, like, oh, Michael Myers is back? That can't be the original Michael Myers. He must be, what, like 60 years old by now? He is 60. And then, but you see, maybe maybe in just, like, the, the, the realism of him actually being that age, maybe you'll be able to tell underneath from underneath the mask or the way he's moving that he is a little bit older. I think that's a cool little but, ripple, you know, man. You know, I, I'm kind of going with your fact, though. I think that you're, you're right. I think that in some way, because, I mean, guys, I'm not liking some of the stuff I've heard. <clears throat> then bringing back Nick Castle with what you said, showcasing that he's older, there's a very strong possibility that they do show his face. Kind of to kind of lament the fact that he is an old fucking guy and he's been doing this for so long. He's got no fucking retirement plan. Like, he's not really put in not the full one case. Just very much retired. He's like, fuck, you know, I gotta kill this bitch because otherwise hell's not gonna reward me. I don't want them to do that, but in, in a strong way, I feel like they're going to do that. But it's still exciting. It's still exciting that they're bringing back Nick Castle and they're bringing back these original guys from the, uh, the film that they worked yeah. on and they love so much. But uh, something that we may not have mentioned on camera before is that they also cast like a week or two ago Andy Matichak, who's mostly an unknown. Um, that doesn't mean anything bad. I think that's a good thing. I like that. Judy Greer is cast. She's supposed to play Judy Greer's daughter. You can go, you can go wrong with an unknown, but <clears throat> sometimes you can go right. Yeah, I dig it. Sometimes dig you can it. go right. I'm, ha I'm psyched uh, for her. That'd be fucking awesome to imagine oh, to get that role out of nowhere. Overall, this is fucking exciting, guys. Yeah. And you guys that are out there watching, you guys love Halloween as much as we do. We fucking breathe it, live it, fucking fuck it. Anytime we can, we fuck the mask. Don't fuck it, Mike. Mike, stop it! When, when you talk about who's gonna play the shape, best possible fucking news. And now you know, you know, unless they go, unless they take it and make it really old because it's later down the line, you know now that we are getting the original mask as well. Well, I the think original so. I, I think so. I think they're not gonna go, not not the mask, but a recreation. I think they're gonna go with the original. Mask. I think they're gonna go with the Shatner mold. Yeah. And the Shatner mold, and it's gonna be great. It's gonna be magical. Like. John Carpenter's involved, these guys are involved, Nick Castle's coming back, Jimmy Lee Curtis, you've got the whole fucking cast coming back to make a magical moment in time. But what if, like uh, like they said, the, the change to the end of the movie is literally an ambulance showing up, and Michael got up, he's gone, but now we're into this movie, right? And he's like lumbering behind the house, and they put a bunch of guns on him, and an ambulance comes and gets him and takes him away, and then they show Myers in a hospital bed, they're obviously, it's, in these movies, like, they're not going to put someone in jail wearing their shoes. I, I think that... His mask would be off in the hospital. No. So, so maybe you see Michael, and it's actually Nick Castle and his face and what it looks like today, plus the makeup of the shit I, he's no, gone through. I, I don't that wouldn't that. be that bad as long no, as he doesn't talk or anything. No, dude, because... The whole, I mean, I don't want to see it. No, the but, whole idea behind Michael Myers is that he's faceless. Like, right. He's, you don't need to see his face. Like, that's why he's tired. But it wouldn't be the worst thing ever. It, it's bad. It, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be Rob Zombie beard eating no, dogs not, in a field. It's not that bad. No! Or die. That's, that's not that bad. It's still bad enough. But it could happen. Like, it's kind of like Master Chief. Nobody knows his fucking face. <laughs> that, no. It's Lord. way more important than Master Chief. It is way <laughs> more important. I'm just saying, the allure, <laughs> motherfucker, is like you don't see his face. I don't want to see his face. I don't. But it wouldn't be the first. If you see his eye, okay, you know. Maybe then you just no. see, maybe you just see like the shadow of like the hospital door. Maybe yeah. you see his Look, face a little you bit. You can see half his fucking face with the spider veins. Oh, oh I broke the window again. Oh, fuck. Don't worry, I'll tell Dad you did it. <laughs> but I didn't do it. Comment down below, guys. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Stop! <laughs> Comment down below. How do you guys feel about all this great fucking news? Because I don't think that was great. That was a good Christmas present. Yeah, even if they don't show us, you know, whatever they're gonna do there, you gotta at least be psyched for Nick Castle. That's pretty badass. I love that. I love the shit out of that. That's so good, guys. Fuck yeah! That is fucking good times. That's like somebody giving you a present and you didn't expect a gift card from Red Lobster for twenty five dollars, and you're fucking. It's the best gift you can give them, man. God damn, man. With every fucking face. Tenor Bay biscuits. Mm. <laughs> Strawberry daiquiris. <laughs> if you're new to the They're channel, good. click that subscribe button and get some goddamn wham up in you. We'll be following all the Halloween news all the way up to the release and then doing more Halloween shows. I can't wait for this. That's what we do on this channel. That's what you do after high school, mom. You talk about Halloween and hang out with your friend, you fucking nut. We watched a movie.